having trouble wiring a protec condenser fan motor 51 23055 11 to a run capacitor cd 25 plus 5 by 440r 25 plus 5 mfd 440 volt with a Addison Products Company Air Conditioner Model No SF092401 B The old motor had three wires the new motor has five, orange, purple, brown, yellow, and black. I don't understand the diagrams that came with the motor and there are several ways they can be configured. I know one way is to switch the rotation of the fan but I can't get the fan to run at all. The condenser sounds like it's going but the fan has no power. I would like to know the correct configuration of the wires to get the air conditioner running correctly. Thank you. Hello, my name is I'm a service tech with a master HVAC license and over 15 years experience. I would be happy to help with your question. Hello. I am looking for a diagram to help it may take a couple minutes. Unless you want to say what the diagram says. Looking now. The diagram is the same as the one on the bottom of this page. HTTP colon slash air conditioning hvac.noji.com slash how to replace an air conditioning condenser fan motor in blade slash. Looks like black goes to the contactor, the side of the contactor that isn't hooked to the capacitor. Oh okay I'll look at that one second. Okay I have the black one on correctly then. Would you like to hook up as three wires again? Sure that worked before well. And do you know if the old one was CCW or CW? You may have to reverse it if you don't and we guess wrong. It may say on the old motor. I don't know but I should be able to reverse it okay. That would be switching the brown and purple leads if I'm not mistaken. Okay then I'll type up instructions. Do you have a dual run cap? The capacitor the silver round shaped part has three terminals fan herm and C common. Yes. The common has only two prongs, the herm has three and the common has four I believe. Black goes to the contactor on the side opposite of the capacitor. Purple goes to fan on the capacitor. Orange goes to common on the capacitor. Brown and yellow GRT wire nut ted together. Does that help you? Okay, can I try quick? Sure, if it spins backwards, switch brown and purple. When we are finished, please leave a rating. If it doesn't work or you have any more questions, please feel free to ask before leaving a rating. Okay, the fan didn't spin. I use the clamps to connect the brown and yellow together is that good enough? I squeeze them tight with a needle nose. Are you sure the capacitor is good? Did you test that? That could have made the old one not work as well. Could it take a while for the fan to kick on maybe? I've been shutting it off after about 30 seconds because I don't want to wreck anything. It's a new capacitor. No it should come on in seconds. How are the brown and yellow connected? You tape them after pushing together? Are you sure they are together properly? I could try the old one but that's 25 plus 4 oof the one I was sold is 25 plus 5 MFD. No don't do that. One second let me type. Full size image. 
Does it look like that image? They may be on opposite sides but the black wire should be on the same side as the contactor wire on the opposite pole. And is there a wire going from the capacitor C terminal to the contactor, the opposite pole of the black wire? That's kind of a reverse image of it there is an L1 with a T1 underneath which is not connected to the capacitor then an L2 and a T2 to the left that is connected to the capacitor. Yes. Okay. The bottom wires I haven't messed with at all. And you are sure there is a good connection between brown and yellow? Maybe try reversing brown and purple. Put purple to yellow and brown to the fan terminal of the capacitor. I'll give that a shot. It's possible that the new capacitor is bad. I had a bad one the other day. I would try using the old one just to see if it works. 1 MFD won't hurt it for a few minutes. You definitely have it wired correctly. If that doesn't work I will step out and let another tech help you. It's very rare for a new motor to be bad, but could happen. Bad new capacitors happen a lot though. Just like with anything else, just because it's new doesn't mean it's good. Can get bad electronics from store. Okay I switch them and again nothing the compressor is working but no fan it's like it's not getting power. Do you have a meter to check voltage? I will try the other capacitor. No it's not here. Or do you want to try wiring at the XX? I can try that. I did cut the brown, purple and yellow wires. I'm assuming to connect them back to the capacitor you twist them through the hole and clamp them tight? You mean crimp them into a connector? How are you connecting these? Full size image. You should use something similar to that picture. Some people call it a female spade terminal. It should look like the other connectors in THR unit. A flag terminal also works fine. I snipped the brown and yellow ones to wire nut them together so when I switched out the brown for the purple I had to find a way to connect to the capacitor. I just mad sure the metal contacted by twisting it and running it through one of the holes of the prongs on the capacitor. I'm not sure if I have those. I don't think that would give you proper connection. At one point did you have terminals going to the capacitor and contactor and it didn't work? You can get those at a hardware store for a few dollars at most and use the crimp tool on your wire strippers or on a crimping tool to crimp them. Yes at first I connected the purple with its connector and connected the brown and yellow wires together. Did the old capacitor work? It had run out so I bought a new capacitor first then I got the new motor and they sold me a new capacitor with different numbers my first one was 25 plus 4 oof. I am going to step out and let someone else help you. To me everything looks wired correctly. I don't get why you aren't getting voltage to the motor. Maybe someone else sees something I don't. With a meter I could have you test it, but at this point I am out of ideas. I will keep thinking and if I think of something before someone jumps and I will post back may take a few minutes for someone else to come in. Okay, thank you. Also if you have the old capacitor, I would try it while waiting. No one has joined yet, not many techs on right now. 
I know it's a different microfarad rating but a 4 will work in place of a 5 for the purposes of testing just don't run it long term like that. A few minutes is harmless. Okay I'll do that. I see like 1 in 50 capacitors are bad out of the box. Also make sure that the wire from the contactor is going to C and the orange wire from fan goes to C and the brown or purple wire goes to fan. Full size image. Maybe that picture helps. You don't have to add more time. You won't be charged more. Okay hey. The new capacitor didn't work either. Is there something I should have done with the motor before installing it? Even if the chat ends. It will just be a place to post back and forth rather than chat. Okay, that's fine. No. Just hook the wires up to each terminal. Can you take a picture of the capacitor and contactor by any chance? It's not hard to mess up though I'm sure you have it right. Yes I did just uploaded it slash fo1.justanswer.com slash ref slash http underscore imper.com slash ugni 9 i 4 Full size image. K okay, cool. That's the contactor. Are you sure the capacitor goes to L2 or T2? That's how it was set up before I didn't change that. I'm uploading another now. Full size image. I know you didn't change it I'm just wondering if the wire from the capacitor at C goes to L2 or T2 for sure. Oh yeah, I don't know. Never mind, I see it. Ah, uh, okay, smile. It's okay. Let me look at the pictures and see if there's anything weird. Okay, let me know if you need a better pick. And you are sure that you have C Herm and Fan all correct? Orange is at C and purple is at fan and blue is at Herm? Yes. And the yellow and brown have a good connection and wire nut ted together, not loose? I had tried that way before too that's why I was so lost cause I didn't understand what I was doing wrong. Everything looks perfect. Wish you had a meter to test for voltage. Motor could be bad. No way both caps are bad. How did you arrive at the original motor being bad? You tested the old one or what happened? The old one needed a kickstart to get it to work so I replaced the capacitor when that didn't do anything I had a tech out to look at it, he said it was the motor. The fan blades did take some effort to spin they were sticky on the old one. I wonder if the contactor maybe had a bad post and isn't putting out voltage. I would disconnect the power or shut off the breaker. Look to see if there is another place to hook it to or move the red wire to L1 and the black one to L2 and try turning it on. Maybe it's not putting out voltage. Make sure power is off please. Okay I'll try that. Also. Our chat has ended, but you can still continue to ask me questions here until you are satisfied with your answer. Come back to this page to view our conversation and any other new information. What happens now? Or, you can reply to me using the box below. Just thought of something. 
when you put motor in or put top on, is it possible you nicked or cut any of the wires? Sometimes when you put a lid on or run the wires through metal they end up getting pinched and cut off power. And you can ask questions here even though the chat ended. I'll double check the wires. Unfortunately I have to go, I will submit the rating. I know you tried it's just something is really off with this. If later I think of anything will I be able to reply in this thread? Otherwise thank you for your time. I will keep fibbling. If you want to post back when you get your meter I would be happy to help you test it. I always post back even if the rating is given. They allow you to post back as long as you don't close it for a couple days. Thank you for the rating and I will help you if you get your meter. And if you can get a meter I will try and think of something. If you want to try the 4 wire method you will need to get a 5 MFD 440 volt run capacitor. A single run capacitor. They cost like 3 bucks. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.